Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. It is the ultimate showdown. The first round of the tournament continues. I am Christian Harloff, joined as always by Mark Baby Carrots Ellis. Mark, this is going to be a very entertaining match, to say the least. And we have seen some massive upsets. But this one, also a big possibility because of the knowledge between both competitors. Mark Yodi Riley, former two-time singles champion, and Video Drew go head-to-head -head here in this first-round battle. Christian, folks have been circling this first round matchup and have been anticipating this battle for a while because you have one of the great personalities to come into the movie trivia showdown in recent memory in Drew. But then you also have, like we plucked him off of Mount Rushmore itself and put him back in his Superman jacket. I'm assuming he's wearing that today is Mark Yodi Riley, a legend of the game, a great personality. Christian, what could go wrong? Well, I guess they are managed by Gucci and Kaiser. So I think I just answered my own question. Yeah, I mean, how the two of them already have been pulled off of uh, the air on that that show that they do together, I have no idea. But um, today, they, they're always going after each other when it comes to managing. But Mark Yodi Riley has a, had a very interesting career in the movie trivia show, and he's a legend. I mean, he's the first champion we've ever had, and he uh, he won the 2018 Teams Ultimate Showdown Tournament. He won the first tournament ever of the Ultimate Showdown. Uh, he's had some big ups, and he's had some downs. Last season, in the first round of the tournament, he was knocked out by Stacey Howard. You have been in that position. Stacey Howard obviously is, is, is one of these uh, players that can get you at any moment. I believe Video Drew is also that type of player. Um, yeah. She has really made her name in the uh, team's division. Obviously, she's only played in one singles match, and that was against the kid last season. But you saw what she did in teams when she was playing with Tom. She is not she 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 is knowledgeable and and scary because she's unpredictable as far as just overall behavior, Mark. Well, yeah, it, Video Drew has a kinetic energy that I don't know anyone else has ever replicated in the history of humanity, but I think that she could excel in a singles format where she is just focused on her and her knowledge and communicating that in a timely fashion, as opposed to also having to wrangle this Tom creature who knows a hell of a lot about movies, but also she had to be sort of the mommy, the daddy, the Victor Frankenstein of that creature. And now that she doesn't have to worry about that, she can focus on the answers. Mark Yodi Riley, he's a legend, all due respect, is gonna have his hands full today. Yeah, and the Finstock Exchange really needs Riley to win here today. They know it. They have uh, they have fallen behind Swag, obviously, who has taken some big jumps here in the first round, and they need to catch up. They need to show why they everyone keeps talking about them. And the dungeon, I mean, the dungeon can, has to take anything that they can get. Obviously, they have that big win by Eric Zipper with the TKO. That was massive for them. But with the loss of Kevin Smets, um, with everything that happened with Robert Parker inside of the IG tournament, I mean, the dungeon is in serious trouble. I mean, they are in serious trouble. Just to try to get any kind of points here would be big for them. And that's what Video Drew tries to accomplish today. And we look at the managers here, and you're right. There's a little bit of grasping at straws, to borrow one of your favorite phrases. And I think that you're going to see that sort of desperation manifest itself today. I'm not going to accuse them of perhaps overcoaching in the match, but you know they're going to have their fingerprints on every round, every question. They're going to be going through it with a fine tooth comb. And as someone in Spaceballs would say when they were combing the desert, we ain't found. I guess we should probably just throw it to the promo. We are going to throw it to the promo because there's a lot to have here between the dungeon and the Finstock Exchange. Here we go. Is it just you know, I've, I've, yeah. I've, I don't think I've ever been upset like this. You know, your back is against the wall. And guess what happens when your back's against the wall? You come out swinging. And that's what real yeah. win that's what winners do. You know, it's very difficult to say anything bad about our opponent today. I mean, two-time Schmodown champion got an award named after him. I mean, what can you really say bad about Mark, super schmuck, Riley? Now, Mark Riley's not prone to uh, the upset, the, you know, Stacey Howard guy. There is a bit of a history here. When Mark has a good first round, the confidence is there and he's dangerous and you better get out of his way. The problem is if he gets a question or two wrong, he starts to worry about it a little bit too much. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. 
I was too busy uh, memorizing Quint's speech from the Indianapolis, you know, in Jaws, memorizing it verbatim, just in case. Hashtag five pointer. And it only gets worse for Riley because Video Drew is a new player. She's been dungeonified. Yeah, that's a word. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown with Video Drew. Even with the first conversation I had with, uh, with Video Drew, couldn't make sense out of it, but I just knew that she was absolutely interested, wanting to participate. Knows her stuff. This year, Video Drew has decided to play it a little differently. She doesn't have a Tom, new Tom is nowhere to be found, and she's now a brand sponsor for Goth IHOP. Buy the, whatever you buy regular IHOP and just dress in black. She has no business playing this guy. I know she played in the Looney Bin, but I also think she might belong there. She knows her stuff. This she is does. not gonna she be an not easy not. thing. Yodi is ready to play because a lot of people already have been questioning the legacy of Yodi. Yodi doesn't usually talk in the third person, so he's gonna stop now. There's other characters right now that are being a little kooky, a little weird, a little eh. Given the state of your reality right now, you don't need another that. So this video drew is calm. This video drew is collected. This video drew actually cares about movie trivia, I guess, question mark. Wink to audience. You say a lot of words. Words that come out that, like, you, you tweet a lot, it's upside down. I don't understand it. Video drew, you scare me, okay? I'll say it. I'm glad you're on the other side of the internet. But you don't scare me in movie trivia. But I think Video Drew beats me. Video Drew is unassuming, right? Until Video Drew shows up and she starts pulling him out and you go, whoa, 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 whoa. But there is a the part of me that really does want to shut everybody up who counts me out because they do it so fast. The world already saw Eric Zipper, TKO the great Paul Preston. And you know what, Riley? After Drew knocks you out today, you know where you wake up? Schmodown Retirement Home. Yodi's come to play, and I'm very excited to have the world be shot. He's gonna be champion again, per the usual. See you at the end of this one. Should be a laugh fest. So no funny games, nothing weird, and this time, it's all gonna look great. I mean, you know, the, the jabs between Kaiser and Gucci continue and video drew. I don't ever I'm never going to try to say, oh, I have figured video drew out. You'll never hear anyone say it. Uh, because that is an advantage to me to me, I think, for her, because you don't know. You can't see where she's coming. But Mark Riley, what I will say inside of that promo, he looks confident and he has a right to feel confident. He's coming off of that big win against Janine. He has uh, he's gotten to the mountaintop twice before. He just had that really big. Uh, he's had matches with who's the boss. So you know he's playing. He's playing very well right now, Mark. He is, and I think that with Riley, what you and I, because we know him pretty well outside of the Schmodown over the years, is that you saw him come in, he was a dominant force right from the get-go, and then there was this unique balance that he needs to strike to play well of managing emotion, having the competitive fire, getting the drive, focusing on the moment. If he can do that, he's virtually unbeatable. But then you look at Video Drew, and like you said, an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in a riddle, all come together in a very nice person with a beautiful soul. But how much movie trivia can she pull on her own in the moment? She is about to step out of Tom's shadow, potentially, but in her way is a guy who really doesn't have any weakness except for kryptonite. Well, we're gonna bring in both Tom Dagnino of the Finstock Exchange and Hunter S. Thompson from The Dungeon. All right, so as you're working on your new 80s hair metal band there, Kaiser, so how is uh, how is Video Drew preparing for this match against the legend in Yoni Riley? Oh, hello. hello. Yeah, no, it's, it's Drew's match against... Oh, it's Ry Riley's retirement party. Well, they told me it was Drew's match. Oh, I'll do it online, okay. What were you saying? Who was that? Who was that? Tell me right now. Who was that? I don't have to divulge anything to you. you That's not in my contract. I don't believe that. I believe that you're pushing buttons on your phone. That's what I'm I I'm not pushing anything. You've been pushing my buttons since I got in this league. You know, a lot of people say that the people you become enemies with first end up becoming your best friends. So right. I'm holding out for you. Maybe you'll turn a 
turn a corner or something, man. Right, well, this is not about you and I. This is what about what we talking about. We got video. Drew is going up against Mark Riley today, and you guys need some points. Is that accurate? Well, look, Ben and Ben, thank you for having me on backstage today. I mean, I didn't know we were doing the retirement party online, but I'm. I will say a few things about Mark Riley. I mean, Mark Riley and I actually have a lot in common. Um, we're both semi celebrities. Um, both of us enjoy a hearty bowl of chunky soup. I've had, I've had a lot of bowls of soup with Mark Riley over the years. Um, we both have awards named after each other. Pretty much the only accolade that Riley has that I don't have is that Crayola introduced a new colored crayon uh, to celebrate all of his achievements on the the World Wide Web. Fair enough. Uh, ob objection, Your Honor. Relevance. Uh, let me go well, the, to the crayon. The crayon is grayer. It's just a little duller than gray. Okay. Nailed it. Uh, Gucci, let me go to you. And then I am going to piggyback this question to Kaiser as well. Good luck. There seems to be some desperation in the factions, in both the dungeon and in yours, the Finstock Exchange. When you go to bed at night and the match is done and you sacrifice the virgin goat and you're laying in the sheets and you start thinking about that manager of the year award, do you still think you have a shot? Be honest. First of all, who's the Duran Duran cover band bassist guy to my left over here? Second, yes, I think I do. Um, I'm looking at, like I said, you know, you start off hot, get a little cold, other people catch up. They Hopefully they, they exert too much energy climbing up the hill and we take charge again. That's the way I see it. Now, last year, I wasn't I wasn't even manager of a year talk until the last two months of the season. You know, if it stopped two months before the season uh, stopped before that, then yes, it would have been Kaiser or Roxy. But when the smoke cleared, I was at the podium, per the usual. And that's what's gonna happen again here. Yes, factions sometimes take a little dives here. You go into some slumps like anything, like a baseball player, whoever goes in the slumps. Next thing you know, you come out of them and you get what's rightfully yours. You know, we're going to hit 500 this year. I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest with you. All right. Well, look, this is, a, once again, a massive match for how is Riley feeling here, Tom? This is a big question because we know, obviously, we know his legend in the game and what he's done, what he's, what he's been able to do. There have been big moments where Mark Riley has delivered, and there's been big moments where he has not. He's famously not been very good in the free-for-all, um, and then he had some really great wins in tournaments, and then he's had some bounces in tournaments. So what is his, uh, what's his mental kind of wherewithal going into this? I've never seen him much uh, more confident than he is right now. I mean, scrimmaging matches, and he's winning every single one of them against big dogs. He is so focused to play here. I'd be surprised if this goes three rounds, to be honest with you. All right. Well, anything to say to that, Kaiser? Anything? Yeah, I got one more thing I'd like sure. to add. Um, oh. Riley should be afraid uh, of what he has in store for him. This is no human being he's going up against. And this, this is a woman who's been pretty much studying 20 hours a day. But as far as Gucci's concerned, I mean, you can argue that this man has the best players in the Schmodown. But you got to ask yourself this. Do any of them like him? Probably not. I'm pretty sure the Founding Fathers have a pending lawsuit for lost wages, so I'm interested to see how that all shakes out. Well, it's interesting. That's, uh, I don't know if that's collusion, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll drop you guys out, and good luck to you both, even though I really don't like to say that to either one of you. So, uh, yeah, no, we, we don't have to bring them back, you know. Yeah, I know, but it's mostly sure. part of it. All right, so with that, the managers are out, and now the competitors are about to make their way in. Mark, are you ready? I'll juice you up. Vroom, vroom. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Introducing first, representing the dungeon with a record of no wins and one defeat in the singles division. She is video. That's interesting. Hi, Tom. No, well, I, I well, I get it. Yeah, okay. Uh, hi, hi, Video Drew. It's good to, it's good to see. Who, who do you have with you today? Video Drew. Video Drew. I Team see. Fresh. 
Um, I never missed Zoobly Zoo so bad as I do right now. Um, okay, yeah, I'm so- not sure what's happening, Christian. My my head is starting to hurt, and I believe my ears are bleeding. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Tom. I got another one. You got another Good. one? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Um, all right. Video Drew, I'm going to try this, but um, I know how this is going to go. Uh, how do, how are you, you are going up against Mark Yodi Riley here, who is a two-time champion. Thoughts on playing someone uh, as established as Mark going into this round? Well, thank you for asking that, Mr. Christian Commissioner. Oh. Yoda has always been the scariest of the Star Wars characters, so playing against Yoda is scary to Video Drew. But what is scared? Um, well, it's actually, it's, is Nick, you know what? You're right. What is scared? Mark? Okay. All right. Well, uh, Drew, I have to also ask you, uh, do you, uh, have you been talking a lot to the dungeon? Have you been speaking with them? Have they given you any advice going into this particular match here? The dungeon where I live? Uh, that's a physical location, Mr. Christian. I'm not sure if you understand. That's not a person. You are she right. makes a good point. Yeah. yeah. Well done. All right. Well, Drew, we're going to put you in the uh, waiting room here. Good luck to you today. Oh. Do you know you're playing a match? Yes. Okay. Good. That's that's. Then we're on a we're on a Hi. good. Step. Hi. Okay. We're going to put her in the waiting room. Um, I don't know what's going to happen here today. No, I just hope Riley's wearing clothes. We'll see. And her opponent, representing the Finstock Exchange, with a record of eleven wins. Seven defeats and four knockouts. He is the 2018 Ultimate Schmodown winner. The 2014 Ultimate Schmodown winner. And the former two time movie trivia Schmodown champion of the world, Mark Yodi. Mark Yodi Riley with the Who's the Boss team glaring in the background. There he is, Mark Yodi Riley, former champion. It's cool. It's cool. Look, man, I, I feel like as I was doing that, I said, you know what? This feels like the old days. I haven't said the the words Mark Yodi Riley in a little bit, and okay. um, and you know, it, it was, dude, it was six years ago, six years ago when you won your first tournament. Um, in the Ultimate Shmoda and became the first champion. Is there always a, a bit of excitement going into tournaments? Is it is it any like exhaustion? Like how are your overall thoughts going into this match? The tournaments are always so much fun. Every time one comes around, I love to just prep, get in the headspace. It, it, it's fun. Today I found myself waking up excited like Christmas morning, Christian. I don't know what it was. It's a it's a it's a new feeling I have, and it feels different, you know. But you bring up. How long ago? What, six years? Did Kaiser make an old joke about me yet? Is that, because six years, I've been a part of this league and still competing at a high level. So maybe there was something Kaiser said. I mean, I don't know what happened to the, those nice words he said at one point, but Grayer, all right. Coming from a, a roadie from the Skid Row reunion <laughs> concert tour, I'm okay with it. Well, uh, Yodi, it appears that you have been a slave to the grind of studying movie trivia, that you're back on the proverbial treadmill. Mm. How is this Yodi Riley that we're about to see compete different from previous iterations of Mark Yodi Riley in seasons past? You know, Mark, I think it's, I think when you start running around with legends of the game, you start to, I don't know, you start to have a nice, healthy competition between us and you start to challenge each other and you start to like talk about it. You start to like hang out and it becomes a thing, right? It becomes a thing where you start to want to hang with your boys and bring it all home, belts, points, everything. So this time I feel a lot more warm, a lot more focused. I have my Finstock Exchange backing me up. We're, we're hands down the best faction in this league because of the way we take care of each other and i'm ready all right well mark yodi riley gonna remove him just for a moment bring back uh exactly who i thought i'd bring back video drew and Good Lord. There, yep and there is mark riley all right our competitors have entered the virtual battlefield here mark rules of round number one plus 
Oh, thank goodness we get to have regulations in this match. In round at number one, eight questions from eight different corners of movie trivia schmodown know-how. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing, at least not in round number one. As soon as we ask the question, you have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer with whatever utensil you have handy on whatever writing surface you prefer. As soon as that 15 seconds is up, you must stop writing and put your hands up so we can see them. You can still maneuver your board when we ask you by name to show us your answer. Turn it to the camera at the same time you verbalize your answer into the microphone. Each competitor has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. Make sure you heard a question right. You want to buy yourself another 15 seconds. Use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge to be used at any point throughout the three round match. You can challenge anything you'd like in the game. We'll bring in your manager and then they must confirm and ratify that the challenge is taking place. Christian, I think everybody heard me loud and clear. All right. Well, with that, I ask Riley, are you ready? Ready. Video Drew, are you ready? Oh, God. We're good. Then let's get ready to schmodown. Round number one. Question number one is in the realm of action adventure. Uh, here is the first one. Who plays Leo Getz in the Lethal Weapon franchise? All right. Talked about this a lot. You and I really, for a brief time, lived across the street from a laundromat featured in Lethal Weapon. It's true. Five, four, three, two, one. Pen down, please. And we start with Mark Riley. Joe Pesci. Yes. And video Drew? Didn't have it. Danny Glover. Okay. No. So Mark Riley gives up one zero there as we get to our next question here. Mark, question two. That's right, Christian. This is in the world of 90s movies. This is the 1990s. And your question. For a point, who directed 1997's The Lost World Jurassic Park? Saw this in a theater. You, Christian? Second one, I think I did. I don't Were remember. You working at a theater at the time no, but you no. were five no four three two one pens down and drew steven spielberg yes and riley steven spielberg two one as we get to our next question question three is dramas which mcu actor stars as a los angeles columnist in the 2009's the soloist all right. It's off to a start here, Mark. They're both fighting for points here for their factions. Oh, they're We're fighting for fighting. a lot more than that, Christian. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, please. And Mark Riley. Robert Downey Jr. Yes. And Drew. Robert Downey Jr. She got it. Here's our next question here, Mark. RDJ, uh, your next category is new releases. And the question yeah. is. Who stars as a Chinese American woman who learns that her grandmother has cancer in The Farewell? Great picture. I'm glad we can still have new releases in this day and age of some well, okay. sort. Well, that's why we have them for the last like year and a half. Okay. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Drew. Aquafina. It is. Riley? Aquafina. Four, three, and video drew only within one with Riley, who has four points and has not missed just yet. Mark, the next question is fantasy sci-fi. Ooh. Arnold Schwarzenegger starts as Adam Gibson, a family man who is illegally cloned by accident as part of a vast conspiracy in what 2000 film? Yeah, I, I, I love Arnold like you do. Uh, he has been given some names that just do matter. Why would that name would never belong to that dude? Repeat. First one. Here it is. Arnold Schwarzenegger stars as Adam Gibson, a family man who is illegally cloned by accident as part of a vast conspiracy in what 2000 film? And Adam Gibson. Video Drew. As one. I'm not sure what happened to that green screen, but it's fascinating to watch. Five, four, three, two, 
One. Pens down, please. Pens down, Drew. And starting with Riley. It's the ninth year. It's incorrect. And video, Drew. Total Recall is not the answer. Also not the answer. Looking for the sixth day. The sixth yeah, day. Sixth day. Oh. The sixth day. So that's one miss by Riley and Drew off the miss. So it's still a one-point game here. So we get to the next question, question six. All right. Your next category is in the world of comedies. <laughs> There's a sound effect now. Thank you. And your question. He said lovingly, who stars as lifeguard Matt Brody opposite Dwayne Johnson in 2017's Baywatch? Just to let the audience know it is not Ralph Biscuits, unfortunately. That, that, that sounds like a name they'd give Schwarzenegger in an action movie. <laughs> That's true. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Drew? Zach Efron. Yes. And Riley? Zach Efron. Correct, sir. And it is 5-4. Five, 5-4 four. Five, four as we get to our next question here. And this is question number seven. Who plays Rose in this category of horror thriller? Who plays Rose, who invites her boyfriend to visit her family for the weekend in Get Out? Get Out. I knew it. I, you, you, you waited three questions. But if no, we ask a question about Arnold. It wasn't about Arnold's impression. That was my next door neighbor. <laughs> you live next to Adam Gibson? Yes. Four, three, two, one. Repeat Pen. the question. We asked for pens down there. Did you all well, delay? What are you doing there, delay? We, you, we're one JTE. Question. One JTE. It's a delay. Right. We, 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 right. We're having this problem, Drew. It's a delay on, on in each. We'll, we're giving a little bit more of a half a second past it. Yeah. Uh, all right, here it is. Uh, who plays Rose, who invites her boyfriend to visit her family for the weekend and get out? Mark Riley and Video Drew, each using a JTE rule here in round number yeah. one. And we are giving the competitors a little extra second after because of the delay. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Now, Riley, pens down. And starting with Riley. I didn't get it. Didn't get it. All right, video Drew. She's the daughter of someone famous, Allison Williams. Yes, it is tied up now. 5-5. Five, five. They both used the uh, JTE there. And here we go. Last question in this round. All right, we got a barn burner, Christian. And the last category is in the world of animated movies drawn by hand or on a computer. Your question. In the small town of Blythe Hollow, Massachusetts, an 11-year-old boy speaks with the dead including his late grandmother, in what 2012 film? Now, they were both tied up here. So, in order to tie, keep the game tied, they both need to hit it. And or miss it. Miss. True. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Pens down. And we start with video Drew to tie the game. Keep the it. Don't think it's right, but Book of the Dead. That's incorrect. And Riley to take the lead. Day of the Dead. Also incorrect. Damn, Looking for Paranorman. Paranorman oh. is oh. the answer there. And now we find ourselves tied up going into round number two. Mark, it's the wheel round. How's it go? This is the wheel round, the wheel of fate, doom, and justice. The wheel will appear virtually so, and each competitor has a spin at it. Once we settle on a category, sound effects please, you will be asked four questions from that particular genre. Each question's worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, ask us for multiple choice. We give you four options. One of them is the correct answer. It's like they don't know they have microphones in front of them, Christian. At that point, the question goes down to one. Mark Yodi Riley, because you were introduced second, therefore the higher ranked player, you will choose alongside your manager whether you want to spin first or defer. All right, we're going to remove both Drew and Kaiser here. 60 seconds to talk to Riley starting now. Dagnino. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, dude. How are you feeling? Are, those are tough ones. It was uh, a tough first round. That's yeah. okay. There was a couple that I didn't know there. That's all right. No, that's all. Shake it off. Yeah. Shake it off. First round is never your speed. Second and close. That's what you do. You got one. You got two JT rules left. Let's do it. How you feeling? You want to spin? You want to spin first? Yeah. Let's spin first, dude. Come on. Okay. Let's fuck. Let's do it. Yeah. All, right. all right. 
Okay, so we are going to have the wheel up. Here is the wheel and the first spin. Here it is. Let's get it. Cool, common collective, Riley. Collective again? Right. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I like this category. SNL. You got 60 I like seconds. SNL. I like mm-hmm. SNL. I don't know how you feel about this. Could be some I deep like cuts SNL, in there. but yeah, there's some deep cuts in there. I'm going to go ahead and spin again, though. Okay. I like it. Spinning. All right. All right. Here's the spin. This is it. Whatever he gets here, he's got to keep. And he's spinning. And here is the spin. Spinner's and opponents lurking out there, and this looks like Denzel. Oh, Washington. All righty, Mark. All righty, Mark. This is what we were looking for. Here we go. This gonna is remove. What you said, buddy. We're gonna remove uh, that guy, and now we're gonna bring back Video Drew. Excuse me for a second here, and let's bring back Video Drew. There, she, there she is. There he is. All right, Mark. You get four questions in the realm of Denzel Washington films. Are you ready? Ready. Here you go. All right. In 1989's Glory, it takes place during which war? The Civil War. Two points. Question two. In 2016's The Magnificent Seven, who plays the villain Bartholomew Boge, B-O-G-U-E, who the Seven must defeat? Five, four, three, two. Let's go multiple choice. All right, multiple choice. Here it is. Is it A, Alexander Skarsgård, B, Vincent D'Onofrio, C, Michael Madsen, D, Peter Skarsgård? And five, four, three, Two. A, Alexander Skarsgård. It's incorrect. Drew, for the steal, you have in 2016's The Magnificent Seven, who plays the villain Bartholomew Boge, B-O-G-U-E, who the seven must defeat. Is it A, Alexander Skarsgård, B, Vincent D'Onofrio, C, Michael Madsen, D, Peter Skarsgård. Peter Skarsgård, excuse me. Go with D, Peter Skarsgård. That is correct for a one-point steal. All right. All right. Question number Three. Who plays Peta, the young girl who Denzel Washington's character is hired to protect in Man on Fire? Dakota Fanning. Two points. And your final question here in Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington received his first Best Lead Actor Oscar nomination for which film? Five, four, three. Multiple two. choice. Multiple choice. Is it A, Mo Better Blues? B, Courage Under Fire? C, Malcolm X? D, The Hurricane? Five, four, three, two. Malcolm X. Correct for one point. All right, so Riley fights and gets himself to 10-6, but Video Drew picking up a big steal with a one-point steal here as we get to round number two. Are going to drop Riley out, bring back Kaiser? Kaiser, 60 seconds to talk to Drew starting now. Um, Denzel should have won that Academy Award, Drew, because he lost to um, Pacino in that stupid blind movie. Ooh-ah! But Denzel should, have, Denzel should have won that award Ooh-ah. all day. That's uh, yep. Where's Tom? He's here. He's behind me. He's getting ice. You know, I'm not feeling well today. I think I drank a little too much cough medicine, but I'm coming Where? out of it. Where's Tommy? He's Where's in, Tommy? Getting, he's getting ice. This is what happens when you don't see people for 25 years. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen Laura Palmer. I haven't seen any of the gang in 25 years. Me but I miss Tom. you guys. I miss you guys. It's like an episode of The Shining. It's like a- let's rock. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, here's the wheel. I feel like I just watched the remake. All right, here it is. <clears throat> Firing pep talk. 
<laughs> Mel Brooks. 60 seconds to decide if you want Mel Brooks starting now. Personally, uh, not my favorite category. But, you know, that's me. I'm not you. Let's see. Stick with it. You gonna stick with it? Yes. Drew? Yes, okay. Mel Brooks it is. Okay, we're staying with Mel Brooks. Gonna drop out Kaiser. Uh, and we're gonna bring back Riley. Four questions in the realm of Mel Brooks movies, Mark. All right, Mel Brooks. I love asking questions about this great man. Uh, Drew, your first question of four. For two points. Who plays Robin Hood in Robin Hood Men in Tights? Carrie Elways or Ulways, A U L W E S. We got you either way, and that is correct for two points. And we move on to your next question. The lead is now two for Mark Riley. Who plays the role of Victoria Brisbane in 1977's High Anxiety? I believe it, that's Madeline Kahn. You believe correct, and we are tied at 10. Next question here, Video Drew, tying up could take her first lead here if she gets this correct. Here it is. Big to bring that lead into round three, partner. And your penultimate question in the wonderful world of Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks appears as Mr. Welling in what 1994 family feature? Multiple choice, please. All right. Is it A, The Little Rascals, B, Richie Rich, C, Casper, or D, The Page Master? Can I get a repeat of the answers? You get one of those for free, yeah. You certainly may. Your multiple choice options. Is it A, The Little Rascals, B, Richie Rich, C, Casper, or D, The Page Master? Going with D, The Page Master. That is incorrect. So Mark Riley for a one point steal. I'm gonna repeat the question in the multiple choice options. Mel Brooks appears as Mr. Welling in what 1994 family feature? Is it A, The Little Rascals, B, Richie Rich, C, Casper, or D, The Page Master? I'm gonna go with Richie Rich. That's also incorrect. I did not know this either. The Little Rascals. Wow. Little Rascals it is. Robert Sorry. Blake and the Little Rascals. Well, yeah. now we're gonna get our question here. Our four, this is our fourth question for Video Drew to continue to take her lead in the realm of Mel Brooks. Here's our final question. All right, Drew, this is your final question. In round number two, this could give you the lead going into round number three. In the world of Mel Brooks, who plays the role of SS Captain Schultz in 1983's To Be or Not To Be? Ooh. That is a very good question. Multiple choice, please. Is it A, Charles Durning, B, Tim Matheson, C, Jose Ferrer, or D, Christopher Lloyd? Let's go with D, Christopher Lloyd. You went right, and Christian, that is a one point answer and a one point lead for Video Drew going into round three. Video Drew takes the lead over Mark Riley here, 11 to 10, as we get to round number three, the final round. Mark, how's it go? It's the final countdown here, Christian, although we do have sudden death overtime looming just in case. In round number three, each competitor is simply going to give us a series of numbers. That's not too hard. These numbers range from 1 to 20. We need three from each of you. You may not select the same number as your opponent. Why? because each number corresponds to a unique world of movie trivia knowledge. Your first question is gonna be worth two points. Your next one is worth three points, and your last one is worth five of the biggest points of your tournament so far. So, because Video Drew finds herself in the lead, along with her bevy of friends, Video Drew can give us her three lucky numbers first. So, Video Drew, from one to 20, what feels fortunate? Well, I wanna go with my best friend's birthday, and that'd be five, one, eight. One eight. Uh, that's Mark Riley's birthday. That's weird, isn't it? Almost not. No, almost, almost. Uh, oh wait, it is. Yes, five eighteen. That's true. All right, uh, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. Thanks, Kaiser. Riley, uh, three letter, three numbers, please. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Kaiser's birthday. Nine, twelve, and seven. Well, 
Okay. Nine, twelve, and seven. Have you tap my phone, man? All right. We all know each other's birthdays. That is so wonderful. All right. So we are going to let um, Dagnino talk to Riley here. Sixty seconds. Oh, actually, no. I'm sorry. Kaiser, talk to Drew here. Sixty seconds, starting now. Hey, um, what is your favorite Nirvana song? Is this a question? Well, it's if you were I like Teen Teen Spunk Spirit. It's not Teen Spunk. I like the one where it's like, I wish I was like you, easily I like, amused. I like the Trent Reznor one uh, from, from the social network that it's that's Radiohead, but it's it's a little boy singing, all the little boys. How much time do we have left, Christian? Because I don't want to waste any. How much? In 30 seconds. I don't want to waste any more. I don't want to waste yeah. any time. All right. all right, fine. All right, so uh, Dagnino, you got 60 seconds to talk to Riley starting now. Let's buckle down here, bud. Just buckling down, man. Let's, Let's do this. get the two, three, and five and send this thing home. Okay. All right. So we're going to start here with Mark Riley. Mark, you chose. We get to get uh, your managers both out of here. Excuse me, please. Going to remove both. Right, yeah. And Kaiser are gone. Riley, you chose for your first category. You chose category number nine. Category number nine. That would be in the realm of animated films. Okay. Animated films in order to take the lead back. Animated. Here you go. All right. Here you go. Puss in Boots is first introduced in which film in the Shrek franchise? Shrek 2. Correct. For two points. Bounces back to Video Drew for two points. And now it is Riley with a one point lead. As now Video Drew has to answer her two, and that's uh, category five, Mark. Just like that, fortunes can change. Very fast here in the Schmodown. Uh, Video Drew, you selected number five for your two-point question, and that corresponds to the category of Angelina Jolie. And your question. Which James Bond actor stars alongside Angelina Jolie as Alex West in 2001's Lara Croft Tomb Raider? Repeat, please. Second one. In the category of Angelina Jolie, which James Bond actor stars alongside Angelina Jolie as Alex West in 2001's Lara Croft Tomb Raider? Sean Bean? Is incorrect. Actually looking for the current James Bond, Daniel Craig. Ah, uh, ah, oh, yes, that is correct. You are right. All right, so now Video Drew will get a three-pointer, and that is in the category of what, Mark? That's going to be new releases. Drew, you selected number one for your three-point question? Sure. Yeah. And that is going to be new releases. And these are any movies that could have come out in the last 12 to 18 months. It's been a pandemic, but plenty of movies came out in theaters. So your three-point question. To retake the lead. Secret Service agent Mike Banning is framed for an attempted attack on the president in what 2019 film? Five. Four. Repeat, final, final, final repeat. Final repeat. All right, this is in the category of new releases for three points. Secret Service agent Mike Banning is framed for an attempted attack on the president in what 2019 film? Olympus Has Fallen? It's incorrect. Oh, so close. Angel Has Fallen. Angel Has Fallen. All right, so here is where we stand. Video Drew will get her five-pointer. If she hits it, it bounces back to Mark Riley. If she misses it, Mark Riley will advance to play Perry Nemiroff in the next round. Category number eight for the five-pointer mark. That's right, Christian, and it corresponds to another director, much like Mel Brooks. Uh, for your five-point question, Video Drew, to take the lead and to extend the match. You selected the wonderful, wacky world of Quentin Tarantino. Oh, fun. And your question. To regain the lead for five points, in which Tarantino film will you find a character planning a trip to Madrid at the end of the film? Uh, 
And... She's saying Pulp Fiction. And your winner, advancing to the next round, Mark Yodi Riley. The answer, Mark? It was Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. Video drew a hell of a match. Gets very, very close there to defeating Mark Riley. But Mark pulls it off. All right, Drew, going to put you in the waiting room for a moment here and going to bring back Bobby Finstock. Tough one here, guys. It was not a pretty match. Uh, Video Drew had uh, was was making it and looked just those the three and the five got her at the end, but she was poised to really make a big upset here. Uh, Dagnino, honest feeling. How are you feeling right now? I, uh, I, might, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Um, yeah, tough match. I mean, you know, we know that going forward, you know, and Mark knows this too. That's 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 not going to win games. You know, he knows it. But lucky we escaped with a victory here. Yeah, some tough round one questions in there, Mark, as you had mentioned. And I think that once you get into the flow of the Schmodown after being away for a little bit and not competing and feeling that white hot fire of the spotlight, maybe you need a match to get the rust off. Is that how you felt today? Did you feel a little rusty? And if so, do you feel like it's all shaken off? Yeah, yeah. There, there, there is such a thing as ring rust, and you saw it today, and I'm pretty upset about it. I'll be honest with you. That's not a pretty win. I'll take it, but we'll it's not it. pretty. And uh, I know what I need to work on. And those were, yeah, it, it kind of surprising first round questions, I thought. But they were great. Overall, I thought it was a good match. And hats off. Uh, Video Drew, you know, all three of you. That was, that was a good match. Well, you know, look, Tom, this is uh, this was a much needed win, obviously, because you were you had uh, Riley not taken that match. Then the Finstock exchange is uh, hanging on by a thread. And, um, you know, it, it was it was a match that, look, Riley's been in these types of matches before where he's he's been lights out. And sometimes this today happens, but he still won the match. But it's what do you do to prepare for Perry Nemiroff going into the next round? I mean, look, you know, that was a tight match. Uh, everybody knows the Finstock Exchange needs as many wins as we possibly can get right now. And there's no question about it. And, uh, you know, Riley in this tournament is a big linchpin for us. Uh, you know, this was a must win and we got it. Thank the Lord. Uh, and, you know, like I was saying, that those were some tough questions in there. And uh, those Denzel questions were some deep cuts as well. Um, spun away from SNL because we thought that was it. We talked about Denzel uh, earlier when we were on the phone. He mm. felt real comfortable about it. And I thought, you know, we were going to play. We, we got what we needed to get over there. Um, Video Drew played a great game. Uh, she's got a, a good technique. It's very interesting. It's slow flow. It can take you out of your game. Uh, and I think maybe that's a little bit what happened there. Uh, you know, Mark is some, sometimes a notorious slow starter, but I have a feeling he's going to go all the way here. He's going to look at this and be like, this can't happen. And uh, we're going to come in and uh, we're going to give Perry a game of a life. That's for sure. Riley, how about that real quick? Uh, Perry Nemiroff here who pulled off one of the biggest upsets maybe in Toronto in history, defeating Mike Kalinowski in the first round. Uh, you know Perry. You've worked with Perry over the years. You know how, how knowledgeable she is. Do you, How do you prepare going in for uh, for Perry? And the, the, the easy question I already know, what's the respect level when it comes to Perry's knowledge? Oh, you respect Perry. Look at this. She just beat Kalinowski. Good on you, Perry. And that's the thing about this tournament. You know, I know people are going to probably analyze every angle of this match that I've just done, including me. I'm pretty upset about it. But as you can see with Perry Nemiroff taking Mike Kalinowski and taking that match, it's anybody's game. Sometimes you have good, good matches, sometimes not. And gosh, I'm ready. I hate this match that I just did because I know how much, how much better I am. So Perry, I love her to death, but she better be prepared. I got to go through her just to get to the belt. I have so much that I need to do right now, including a lot of work after this. All right. Well, look, uh, once again, a win is a win. And Mark, Yodi, Riley. I'll take it. I'll take it. Three points here. Three points. Final score, Mark Riley, 12. Video Drew, 11. All right. Going to remove Mark and Finstock here and bring back both Kaiser and Video Drew. Uh, Drew, I guess. Just thinking, yeah, that, 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 that was... Oh, I got a text message from Norm McDonald. One of his, oh, yeah? well, what happens is when I get a text from Norm, one of his bits goes off. I apologize. 
Oh, fair. All right, Drew, I got to start with you. You, I mean, you really looked phenomenal in those uh, two rounds there. You had Riley on the rope, and, and it just came down to the three and the five at the end there. Did If you think with more more time, had you not used all three of the JTE rules, do you think that you would have gotten, uh, you would have gotten there or, or maybe not? Look, Yoda is all-knowing. He he got a little bit shaky around one, two. I really thought I had that in the bag. Uh, it was definitely between uh, Pulp Fiction and Jackie Brown, which is the one Quentin Tarantino movie I have not seen. The one. Yes, I know. There's something wrong with me. But that's the one. So I was actually leaning towards that and going back and forth between Pulp Fiction. I was thinking maybe that's where Butch ends up. So ultimately... Yeah, I'm kicking myself. That would have made the match way more interesting. But at the end of the day, I have my friends. I have Kaiser. I have Tom and Video Drew and Video Drew. And now I'm just going to come back stronger. Who expected me to go this well? I Nobody. Mean, you, you, you absolutely, you had it. It looked like it was, uh, you were definitely giving Riley um, a big run for his money there. Kaiser, look, I got to ask the same question I've been asking you, man. This is, I the outfit to me, and the demeanor right now screams someone who is kind of in dire straits. Um, you know, this is a, this was a, Drew played phenomenal. There's no doubt about it right now. She played great. But nonetheless, this is a, this was a loss. You had, uh, you know, the, the big Smets loss, the Parker loss. This season has not gone your way. How can you stop the bleeding? How can you get the ship or the dungeon to, uh, to not end up in the last port? Well, we still got hope alive in the form of other players in this here dungeon. I would say this was a fun retirement party. I enjoyed hanging out with Mark Riley. I always do. I would have liked to have had a nice cup of soup with him, maybe a minestrone or something. And but he, you know, he's Mark Riley. He's the Yoda. He's the he's the one of the best, and he did a good thing today. And, and his manager still should be brought up on charges of fraud. But I'm not here to talk about that. Uh, publishers clearinghouse fraud, by the way. Um, you can look into that. There's been plenty of reports. I I'm proud of Drew. She, she, she studied her butt off. She played hard. She absorbed the game this season, man. She really came in and lived it. And I'm proud of how she trained all day, every day with her teammates. She's going to come back more lethal. And I can't wait to see the revival of Video Drew in 2021. We all know what she can do live. And in person, she loves to, she's, it's the shock factor. She was a beautiful addition to the dungeon. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, just having her energy. And I'm happy to have ro rode with her this season. I want to say one more thing. First of all, thank you, Mr. Kaiser, for those kind words. I was really looking forward to playing Mark Riley for very one specific reason. I love horror movies. Mark Riley loves horror movies. I am a horror movie. I would have really liked to see a match, a rematch with Mark Riley and I going head to head to head to se separate head about scary things. All and right. Thank you, thank you yeah. Trevor. Okay. We can uh, hey, um, probably uh, how how much, make that happen. How, many, um, how much lobster does the, the average person order? All right. Will you stop? I'll take two and two butters. All right. Two okay. sides of butter. All right. Hey, you're still on the air, Kaiser. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Well, there. Uh, as we wrap things up, mercifully with this interview, uh, <laughs> Video Drew, you are a great personality, as I mentioned in the pre-show. The fans love you. Is there anything that you want to say to the Schmodown community for all the support they've lent you? Everyone loves Video Drew's charming and lovely and winning personality. But why isn't she called overrated? Everyone else gets that. Is it because no one bothers rating her in the first place because they think she's just a good personality and not a good trivia player? Question that. I think I've shown myself today to be a very, very good trivia player who just hasn't seen one Quentin Tarantino film. Fair enough. Look, she did great. And who the, is Django Fett? No, you just stopped. Star, Star Trek. Freddie Fett, one of the Fett brothers. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, sounds great. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much. Great match here today. Uh, didn't go your way, guys. And Kaiser, we'll see you with the Eric Zipper match in uh, round number two. Uh, all right. So there is both Video Drew and Kaiser. Uh, yeah, it's, it, you know, it is what it is with those two. But uh, Video Drew played great. I mean, she played great. She hung in there with Riley the whole, whole entire time. She had him. 
she had him on the ropes once again going into that lead going into the third round she played really well in the mel brooks category but she got a three and a five that she simply didn't know mark riley and i think that him and finstock both said it he cannot play like this for the rest of the tournament um he will get eaten alive he knows that he's been in this position before but that's also the career of riley what he's had he'll have a game like this and then he'll go perfect in the next one he at, at this moment has been a kind of a consistently inconsistent player so not in teams not in teams but in singles he's got to get back to that glory of old if he wants to win this thing and I see a little bit of that moxie, that quick recovery, if you will, the regenerative yeah. healing that Mark Riley has. He can have a dud match and then right back on the horse. He's studying, he's training, and he's lights out in the next one. I see a lot of that competitive fire in video Drew as well. So we have not seen the last of her by any stretch of the imagination. As for her faction, the dungeon, Christian, like you said, Kaiser is not out of this thing yet. If Zipper gets hot, someone else gets hot. You can run the table and get a lot of points for your faction. So no factions out of it just yet, but you got to think the Finstock Exchange is exhaling a collective sigh of relief, getting some points. Well, that was the match here today. Mark Riley once again defeats Video Drew 12-11 in the score of the Finstock Exchange, picking up three points over the dungeon and advancing a little higher up those rankings. All right. So, guys, thank you very much. Really appreciate joining us here today. Make sure you go over to Apple Podcast. You want to listen to all these matches? Do it. Go on your anywhere. Go Apple Podcasts. You can go Spotify. Just subscribe there and let us know. Leave us a comment. R rate us. Join Patreon. Patreon.com slash Schmodown. You can join at the $10 tier and get any one of the big pay-per-views that we do. We do a bunch of them at least once a month. And we do some exhibition matches. And the Schmodown Spectacular coming up in December. Those are about four to five big, huge matches that you get if you're at that tier. Uh, Mark, what a match it was. Nonetheless, we have... The exchange moving to the next round. Pleasure calling it as always with you, my man. It's going to be like the old collider days. Get to hang out with Mark Riley and Perry Nemiroff. And we mentioned community before and how they've rallied around competitors like Video Drew and Mark Riley. Check out the Schmodown Facebook group. Join, become a member today. And check out the Schmodown Rundown. Frankie Janish and Brad Gilmore analyzing everything going on in the world of Schmodown. A new episode drops wherever you enjoy listening to stuff every saturday morning like when we used to watch cartoons back in the day christian very true all right well thank you as always mark and thank you guys make sure you check out the matches coming up and everything we got going on here on the movie trivia schmodown youtube channel subscribe today if you haven't click the like leave a comment and we'll see you next time